This is Sorinda Jones at aggregatememories.blogspot.com. We are doing a multimedia canvas bag and these are some of the supplies that you may want to have on hand. You put a cardboard piece inside your bag. There's the Faber-Castell um, gelatos and I'm just coloring literally on the canvas bag and then I'm going in and adding the water. So here we are just um, getting the background done on the canvas bag. This is going to go rather quickly. You will want to heat set it and then once we get to the point where we start embellishing. Okay, so now that I have the um, Faber-Castell um, gelatos on my canvas bag, I'm trying to figure out where everything is going to go. Originally, I was thinking of using this stencil, which I really love, um, along with this flower kind of in the center, and then everything branching off with um, some stamps and some uh, Teresa Collins bling. But I think that this stencil is going to overpower what I originally Thought. I might do it on the other side and so now I need to make some decisions on what stencil and stamps I'm going to use. I was going to use some of these stamps from Teresa Collins, um, maybe some of these florals and live love laugh, maybe some of this. So what I'm going to do right now, I still want that rose up in this this corner and um, what I might do is the molding paste with the stencil kind of flaring out and around. Um, the molding paste will stay white and flexible so um, at this point I have some decisions to make so I'm going to go ahead and maybe figure out what I'm going to do. I am stamping with stays on. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I've done is I've figured out that my rose is going to live here. I'm using this flower stencil. I'm kind of going to go around from that point and maybe do some down here. So that's kind of my point of reference. And then the stamping, I've created this. My stamp um, acrylic is awful, but it says love, laugh, wishes, dreams, laughter, smiles with a little um, same kind of flower. And I'm using stays on and I'm making this up and I'm, I'm thinking of placing these randomly, maybe one right here. Make sure my board is where I want it to have a nice surface to stamp on. So I'm thinking about right there, and this is always tricky. So we're just winging it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, that's okay too. So right there. Give it some good pressure. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like that though. It's a little faded. You know, I think I'm going to take this stamp off and then just do the verbiage. I like how it's just kind of peeking in there. That's awesome. Okay, this is a good spot right here. Really firm. Yep, that is fabulous. I like that. I like how it's not so... If you wanted to go back in, with an Indian ink, um, whoop, that was a good catch, right? An Indian ink marker, you could highlight the words and um, make them more prominent, which I might do on one of these. And I like groupings of three, or see, that one worked fabulous, so you could go back in and just kind of write that. But I like how it just kind of 
you, it's there, but you can't quite see it. I think I'm going to do one more right up here. Let's not drop the stays on on the project this time. Make it up really good, like that. And I think I said, I don't know if I want another one though. That's three. right up here no no I think we're done with that so I'm gonna go ahead and move on and do some of the flower stamps every so often and then come back and I'll show you how to do the modeling paste